Do you know how it feels when you're just being yourself? Never meant any harm. And people like that, there's something wrong with you time and time again. People tell you to be you until you actually do. And then they see that you're not like them. Not who they wanted you to be. Do you know how much it hurts when you just want to be understood? But your efforts never seem to work. Why do you ever think they would? Why do I let this get to me? Why do I care what people think? I just want to feel connection. What is so wrong with being different? Why have I felt so much rejection? Why do I need people's validation? Perfect recipe for depression, anxiety, and feelings of isolation. Freshman year of high school and I don't know what my mind's doing This happy kid I used to be now drowning in anxiety I got self-conscious and I went through I wish that I was more like you Don't look and don't say hi to me Just let me hide inside my screen I first realized that I was strange when I started school back in third grade Before then I had been homeschooled But here I was new and so confused So many other kids my age Before long I knew all their names But they already had their friends And nobody cared to let me in At first I Persevered unscathed, though I felt so alone and out of place. Over the years, the fear of rejection came. I suppressed my emotions, personality, and race. In high school, it all hit me at once. You know the way it often does. I hardly even talked to my parents. My racing thoughts had me so nervous. I was so scared of being judged, even if only in harmless fun. My face, my voice, my every little movement, my hair, my clothes, my entire appearance. At the time, I didn't know any coping mechanism, so I did all I could to avoid being noticed. Oftentimes, people question, "Hey, man, why are you so quiet?" And I'd simply shrug my shoulders, didn't know how to reply to it. When I got back to my bedroom, that is where I would escape with video games and music. I would stay in there all day. This all got so stressful that I got physically ill. I fought cold after cold, and my sinuses aren't right still. And you can bet that only made my social anxiety get worse. My nose wouldn't stop running. I would have felt like I was cursed. In the darkness of that winter, something inside me shifted. I don't know how it happened, but I got an intuition. I realized that my ailments were entirely self-inflicted. And if I had the power to do this, then certainly I could fix it. I dug myself into this hole and I would dig myself back out. Having heard a whisper from the soul, I didn't even have a doubt. I would break down the walls of old and turn my mind around. New flame of will so bold, it's never flickered out. My mind had spiraled into such irrational patterns Fears running rampant and my confidence all shattered Respond to negative beliefs by reinforcing new ones To change your brain, all you need is repetitive influence They sound ridiculous at first, but do not let that stop you You need to hear these friendly words before things can improve Remind yourself over and over it's what you have to do It's only a matter of time before you believe them too you 
ever beautiful and kind and you deserve the best Your soul is made of gold inside and you are truly blessed The luck you have is largely just a matter of belief Directly correlated with the way that you perceive Nobody is judging you when their opinions aren't important They are already occupied with their own inner problems You deserve good friends and you're surely soon to find them You are worth more than you know, be thankful you are human If your mind rejects these words, that's totally okay Right now you are feeling hurt, but you will find a way I'm not saying it's easy work, it's not easy at all But time will make it all be worth it as peace begins to grow word when I say healing can really happen Your mind is the most powerful tool that you could ever own Love yourself It's okay Paper towels? Well, I've got news for you. These paper towels don't do shit. I mean, just look at this. I had to use damn near half a roll to get that shit cleaned up. It took me so long, I already have to piss again. I'm telling you, these paper towels are garbage, but we're not here to sugarcoat things. We're here to give you the facts. And the fact is, we've got a 15 square mile warehouse absolutely loaded to the brim with paper towels, and we need them gone. We'll sell them to you for so fucking cheap that no one will ever buy the leading value brand again, even if they do work slightly better than ours. Come get them while you still can. First come, first serve, motherfucker. You'll never run out of paper towels again. <laughs> Ah!
Call 1-800-PP-TOWEL today and we'll give you two fuckloads for the price of one. I hope you heard that because I'm not going to repeat myself. Cut! Ow, oh, my penis is stuck in my zipper! Ow, oh, oh, fuck, holy shit, fuck, 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 fuck!